Good evening everyone and welcome to the stadium for this big game. We're almost ready, so over to Mark. How could you not want to play on that pitch? It's absolutely perfect. Even you could play on it. Maybe not. Just listen to those fans. The incredible atmosphere here is perfect for this final in which the true champions will be decided. The final of the African Cup. This continent has given the world so many wonderful players over the past 20, if not 30 years. And some of these younger players on display today will be the world stars of tomorrow. Not surprisingly, the manager has stuck with the orthodox 4-4-2. I'd say on the face of it, he's looking for another solid performance from his players. And they come again. Cross in. Solid defence in the box. Didn't get anywhere near the ball. Free kick. Who will take it? Free kick! His right foot shot was well struck, but it wasn't good enough to beat the keeper. Buba Diop. Here comes the secondary threat. Tries one, and that just goes way off to the left of goal. He tried to beat the keeper from distance. That's fair enough, but you do need to get the ball on target, and it's harder from that range. And the shots over the bar needs to be more accurate than that. I think he rushed that a little. He had more time than he thought, but it's easy to say that from up here. Defence needs to be tight on the man here. Here they come once more. Here's another cross. Now though they have a platform, he's in behind the defence here. Here they come once more. And now a shot. The shot took a deflection off a defender there. Goes short, catches them off guard. It's been cleared. Zidane. In this spell, they're hanging onto the ball in midfield because there were no real gaps to exploit in the defence. Maybe it suggests a lack of width up front. Wins the ball back. And they've lost it. Duke. Moving up the field, stretching the play. The 
they get the ball back. And the recovery tackle is a strong one. No, it's been cut out. Schalke. Almost half an hour gone. Dealt with the threat well. In trouble here, ball stolen, real chance. Dan. What a ball, what vision! Buba Diop. Ball one hit. Schalke. Good tackle. The shooting opportunity. He punched the ball to safety. Schalke. Good running on the ball. Oh, look deliberate to me. Is it a penalty? Yes! The referee points to the spot, absolutely no doubt at all in the referee's mind there. Can he beat the keeper from the spot and put his team in front? Missed by a lick of paint. I tell you what, John, people say you shouldn't miss penalties, you know, but it's all about tension. And I don't think mentally that fellow was strong enough. No goals here, and in truth, it's looking set to stay that way with half time fast approaching now. Duke. Here they come once more. Will he hit the target? Really stopped in his tracks there. Now have possession. There'll be one extra minute for stoppages. Bay. Knocks it out to the flank. Lifts it into the box. The defender does well under pressure there. Knocking it out for a corner. Looks to change things around here. Oh, they'll battle for this in the middle. And the header! Incredible! They've done it, and what an end to the half. Literally seconds remaining before the whistle, and they have taken the lead. I'll tell you something with this manager, I think he's had a Midas touch with that substitution. It's so nice to see so many people showing their appreciation of that goal. What an excellent display. They've gone in front with the opener. Do you know what, John? When they make... There is half-time. The players from both sides head for the changing rooms. There might well be a bit of sort. Everyone back in their seats, including the managers. And the second half is underway.
Buba Diop. Ball one hit. Now they're keeping the ball nicely. Looking to stretch the defence this way and that until a gap appears. Will he find the target? Stop the attack well. Pressure on the defence now. And they've opened them up there. And a goal! It's a second! Beautifully taken. Kept calm when the pressure was mounting. Really well worked. A quality goal from a quality player. As soon as he picked it up, you knew what he was going to do. He only had one thing on his mind, and he did it. An outstanding piece of individual brilliance. He has found his scoring touch here, taking his goal tally to two in the tournament. Two nil now, a relatively healthy lead developing. Well, just what the manager must have hoped for at half-time, but didn't expect. A quick-fire goal, not giving the opposition any time to settle. Will they now run away with the game? Goma. Some beautiful football being played out here with superb movement on and off the ball. The opposition midfield seems to have just disappeared. Attack came to nothing. And a chance! Couldn't put it away there. Not a bad effort, though. Well, that deserved a better finish, really. Brilliant build-up play. Shame about the end result. It looks like a substitution's going to be made. That's an incisive pass, though. Fifteen minutes of the second half gone now. Schalke. behind for a goal kick it seems some fresh legs will be introduced here some players warming up now on the touchline the defender cuts this one out Goma, Schalke, and coming forward, the keeper collects it. Zidane, this could be dangerous. So they're great credit. They're still hanging on, still trying to create something. But there needs to be an end product to all this movement, and it needs to come soon. Schalke. Still in play. Heading towards the penalty spot. Almost 75 minutes on the watch now. He wastes possession. Coaches so often say to players, treat the ball as a friend. Schalke. Zidane. It's a very, very good challenge. Had to be perfectly timed. A chance to counter-attack here. He calls for a foul, but no whistle. Zidane.
Glazes into space behind the defence. Zidane. And the shots! Punched behind the goal by the keeper. That'll be a corner. Let's see how this decision can affect the outcome of the game. Lifts it high. Possibility! Oh, just no accuracy in the shot there. You could see he couldn't quite get his balance right. Maybe he should have taken another touch rather than snatch at it like that. Again they come. Still they move the ball around patiently, they're shifting the defenders around. Trying to open up a gap and create room for a shot. And this is promising. There's the cross. And the ball goes into touch deep in opposition territory. Oh, a perfect ball in. Safely into the keeper's gloves. Out comes the fourth official with the board. Signals one extra minute, that's all. Finds himself in the area. To be fair, the keeper might have... It's been a hard-fought competition all the way through, but they've been the strongest team, and they thoroughly deserve to lift the African Cup. Well, Mark, moments like this will live forever in the memory of the fans, of the players and the coaching staff and the manager. There have been unforgettable highs and lows and at last they have been crowned as champions. I think for players these games are always difficult to deal with, John, because you sit down there with the manager before the game and he says, look, boys, you know the deal. You win this game, you are champions. Well, they've done that. They've won the game and they are quite rightly the champions and they deserve it. Just look at those celebrations. The sheer jubilation all around the stadium, as well as on the pitch, just tells you how much this means to this team.